Woke up this morning and thought, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about diversification. And we're going to go through what diversification actually means and just the idea of it. If you've heard of it before, diversification of assets, how to diversify, 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 rule number one of investing. To me, diversification actually gets a really good rap. And there's a reason for that because there's plenty of advantages to diversification, as we'll talk about. But there's also some disadvantages to, to, to diversification. So I think just by chatting about it a little bit and just by going through some of those benefits and some of those potential disadvantages, I think we'll be able to get more of an understanding of when you might like to diversify your investments. Maybe I should stop saying diversify. And when you might look to focus your investments. So diversify, just think of it like this. People say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know why that is. It's because if something goes wrong with that basket, all your eggs are in it. So you wanna diversify by putting a couple of eggs in a couple of different baskets or a lot of different baskets, depending on what your risk tolerance is. So an advantage of diversifying assets, say you have invested in um, a real estate property and you'll think you have enough money now due to the equity in your property or money that you've saved up from the rental or whatever, you have enough money to actually leverage the amount of money in that property, etc., to buy another property. Now, your immediate thought is, I wanna just buy the property next door. But is that necessarily a good idea? If this is your only property, you might wanna think about, well, if that all goes to crap, so if that particular suburb or that particular city stops performing in terms of capital growth or in terms of rental yield, then my investment is not gonna have very much of a return. So what I might consider instead of buying the property next door, I might decide to buy a property in a completely different suburb or better yet, a different city or perhaps even a different state. Or if you, if you really like to fly by the city of pants, you could do it in another country if you're all good with the tax laws, etc., and what you can actually do to borrow debt in that country. So that's a way that you would consider, okay, it's an advantage to, to diversify. The reason it's an advantage to diversify is that you're going to either potentially get um, a good return on both of them or a middling return on both of them, but you're lowering the risk that you have against something going wrong. And people do this not just in the realm of real estate, but they might do it in stocks and things like that and crypto and bonds whatever else they choose to invest in. Now, the problem where diversification starts to get a little bit iffy is when you start to do it too much. So if you are diversifying a number of different assets, so say you wanna um, invest in stocks, but you wanna do it yourself. So instead of going into an ETF, exchange traded fund, and having someone look after it for you, you want to do it actively. And you're trying to decide between which stocks you want. And you're sort of thinking Tesla, Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, all that sort of stuff, all in the tech sector. And then you're sort of thinking, okay, well, I don't want to have it just in the tech sector because that's gonna not be diversified enough. So I'll grab a couple from the oil sector and I'll grab this one over here, which is up and coming Sorry about my dog over there. Um, an up and coming, I don't know what other sector there could be, some sort of consumer sector, makeup, hair. Um, and then you keep going and you have about 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 stocks. The problem here is that yes, you will to a certain extent be diversified and protected against the risk of one of those stocks going down. However, depending on how any of those assets perform, even if there's a huge performer in there, unless you absolutely get on the right train like Tesla or something, and unless each of the others 
perform really well as well, you get the low risk, but you also potentially get the low return because the return is muddied by the amount of eggs you've put in different baskets. The thing about diversification, and it's something that if you think about the real millionaires, like the, not just the, I've earned a million dollars, but the ones who have earned multi-million dollars or billions of dollars, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, all those types of people, you will find that the whole adage of a millionaire has seven streams of income, that may be correct. However, the difference is that one of those streams of income for that millionaire billionaire is going to be way more than the rest of the streams of income. It's going to be their meat to their potatoes, if you know what I'm saying. So they're not really diversifying. They're pouring a lot of their risk, a lot of their worth, a lot of their business strategy going forward into one best thing. And it's the focus that allows for mastery specialization. So have a little think about that, that when you're diversifying, if you are wanting to be a little bit more active, then sometimes diversification is not the best way to go. And it's not necessarily going to get you rich. It may get you wealthy long term because you're getting a small um, generated interest, middling interest or whatever rate or middling um, gain from your stocks or whatever asset class you've got. But you're not going to get those huge returns that come with the huge risk of pouring your focus and specialization into one or two assets and really lowering that diversification. So I'm going to go and deal with my dogs right now, but I just thought, just have a little bit of a think about whether diversification is necessarily good for your particular situation or whether it might actually be muddying and you might be listening to advice this is not advice, by the way. It's just something, a thought to, for you to add to your arsenal, a tool. Um, but just have a think. If people are telling you to constantly diversify, 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 what's the actual outcome of that? Is it a 10% return in 10 years? And is that something that you're okay with? Or are you actually looking for something better? <laughs>